All right, Brian Sparks uh, with Western University Extension Service here at the, the 2021 Potato Festival. Hey, this is the 51st annual Potato Festival, and something that we have added uh, is the tractor show. It's not new. Uh, we're probably in year four, five, six, somewhere in there, uh, maybe more than that, but I know I've been helping out with it now for, for four years. And so, hey, we have a great variety of tractors here, 15 tractors today at the tractor show. Uh, Everything from John Deere's to uh, Farmall's uh, to Ford's. Uh, there's even a Minneapolis Moline down there at the end. And so uh, a good array of tractors. It's a shame. I'd like to have seen some Massey Ferguson tractors out. Kind of one of my favorite, but uh, they're neither here nor there. And appreciate uh, all the people bringing these tractors out. And a lot of them you'll see in the parade later on. And so judging's about ready to begin here in, in 10 or 15 minutes. And so the choices today are, of course, are going to be the oldest tractor. Uh, we've got the best to show. We've got the Queen's Choice, and then we'll wrap up with the Mayor's Choice here. So some great trophies for these exhibitors uh, that have brought those out. You know, a great job by this Potato Festival Committee of, of putting this together and the support they have for this tractor show. So in a little bit, you'll see the award winners. Again, we'll mention those, the oldest, the uh, best to show, the Queen's Choice, and, and the Mayor's Choice here for the 2021 uh, tractor show at the Nicholas County Potato Fest. My name's Sean Orndorff, and I grew up in, in a canvas in the area near, here, near Somersville here. And uh, today we're having the, the tractor show here at the Potato Festival. And uh, my tractor here is a Copar Panzer, a T-102. These tractors was made, uh, started out in the company in 1954, and this one here is a 1957. The company started, or ended in, in 1960, and uh, like I said, I've owned it for uh, just a little over a year now, and uh, was glad to bring it over to the show today. I'm Kathleen, and I'm from Somersville, West Vir Beckley, West Virginia. And this tractor was my great great grandpa's, passed down to my great grandpa, and now it's my grandma's, and now it's mine. And it's a 1937 B model and that's about all I know about it. I'm Isaac Hamrick, I'm from Canvas, West Virginia. I've had this tractor for about two years. It's a John Deere M, 1947. I've ran it about five grades. I've done two of the Potato Festival, one in Anstead, and one at the, a show at the fair. My name's John Groves, and today I have my black sheep tractor out here. Uh, it's a 1946A, and it's a little bit unusual. It's uh, been set up for a pulling tractor, and uh, it's just got some personal touches on it that make it stand out from the rest of the crowd. Bob Johnson, come from up at uh, on the Silo Road there, live up there, got a little farm up there, we do a little farming. And, uh, these tractors here, it's the C model right here in this H here. My son drives in, he maintains and takes care of it. He leaves this in here up to me and me and him uh, work them over and uh, try to make it look good and uh, paint them up. And, uh, Whatever needed, we try to do it and get them going there. And, uh, we like to participate in festivals and like to participate in the fair. Uh, Scott Brown, this is 1948 Minneapolis Bowl Lane. I'm from Fenwick Mountain, West Virginia. Been here all my life, close Somersville. Uh, this tractor came out of Leesburg, Virginia. I had the check they wrote for it, both owners manuals. I come over here every year and I've won some nice trophies and good prizes. Thank you for having us. Hi there, I'm David Eubank. I'm from Cowan, West Virginia, actually up Williams River. Uh, I found what you're looking at here in uh, Green Bank. I'm a good friend of mine, and uh, 
these are early 1920s Kincaids. They're a Model L. Uh, they done everything. You could use them as a stationary motor. Uh, you could plow with them. You could uh, use them for like a water pump. That's you know with a stationary motor. Uh, they uh, like I say they did it all. I've got one here that's got the sickle bar mower on it. You can get them with the, uh, the finish mower, uh, cultivator, the plow. But uh, these. They're pretty unique, and that's what I'm all about. Um, there's uh, probably not a whole lot of them left. They don't actually run, but fingers crossed. So, my, my helper today is McKinley Stapleton. She is the Nicholas County Potato Festival Junior Queen, right? Yes. In the fifth grade from Summersville here. And so, again, yeah, give her a round of applause. And so she picked her tractor, the Queen's Choice. And so let's find that, McKinley. Here's the Queen's Choice. Look at this nice trophy and this big, nice um, ribbon. It's almost as tall as you, isn't it? And uh, this is uh, the, the, the Nichols County Potato Festival Committee has put this together and uh, picked out these nice awards and medallions that are on each tractor. And so her Queen's Choice is Isaac Hamrick's 1947 John Deere down here. Th this one right there. So Isaac, come on up. Congratulations, Isaac. And uh, so uh, that's our queen's choice. Let's get a picture. Probably ought to get it beside the tractor in a little bit too. Yeah. All right, let's move down and see what our next one is. Oh, the oldest one. All right, now here's an interesting one, folks. So, um, we, we, we probably had the two kind of, these are probably what you would call the oldest, but yeah. we, 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 and look at those, it tells what they are, but we, we kind of had to look at maybe some tractors that were, were up and running and, and on the ground, and so we had two that actually came in a tie. We had Brian Hamrick's 1937, thank you, 1937 John Deere, and the, and the next one down is, um, the 1937 by, um, whose tractor is it? What's your name again? Kathleen Gregory. Kathleen Gregory. So what I had to do then was go pull the serial numbers on them to see when they were manufactured to get the oldest one. And so uh, Brian's actually came out, his was uh, built 14,000 tractors prior to yours. So that's how close they were. They were made in the same year, but on the assembly line, his was made 14,000 tractors ahead of yours, and that's that's pretty neat, isn't it? So, so Brian, Brian Hamrick, yours is the oldest tractor here today. You can, you can do it for her. <laughs> you can do it. Well, do you all want to? Okay. Well, come let, up. Let, we'll let, switch it then. Let, let, let her. Have all right. It. Well, thank you. They're that close. Okay. Let, let her. I, mean, I got me. I got oldest tractor at the fair at the Nicholas County Fair. Okay. So. Well, thank you. Let's give a round of applause. Okay. Kathleen Greg Gregory and Clyde White. I think that's your grandpa, right? Yep. Yep. All right. From right here in Summersville. So there's their number was 46,159 was the serial number on that 1937. So with that, Kathleen, and thanks to, to Brian, the oldest tractor. You wanna you wanna give this to her? All right. The oldest tractor here. Let's give him a round of applause again. So thank you, Brian. Yeah. All right. So now we have a couple more. Do you want to grab that one? The best of show. All right. The the best of show. Well, no. Let's back up. Let's do one before that. The mayor's choice. We'll save the best of show for the best. That's the grand finale, right? So the mayor's choice. The mayor had to run back to the potato auction, but he went through them. Um, and so, I don't know if you all know this, but the Mayor of Summersville, Robert Schaefer, he is an old farm boy from Nebraska and uh, grew up on a hog farm and then a dairy farm, alfalfa, corn, and soybeans. So he knows tractors and he likes them and he has some that's near and dear to his heart, I think. But his choice today was uh, the 1948 little farm all cub of Don and Joe Byers. Yep. So, Don and Joe, come up. You not coming? It's 
So thank you all for that. Oh, our papers are running away. All right, now. Thank you. What what a beautiful day, isn't it? The wind's getting a little windy for us here. All right. Get a quick picture. Mom, get her dressed up there. There we go. <laughs> Turn that trophy around, it's backward. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Thanks, <laughs> guys. All right, so now let's end with the, the best of show. And this was the, the compliments of everyone that came by to pick the best of the show today. So the best of the show today actually goes to another Farmall Cub, the 1955 Farmall Cub, Heather Tolly. <laughs> Heather Tolly. <laughs> So the, the, the Cubs sweep the show today, didn't they? All right. <laughs> All right. So, did you get a picture? There you uh, go. <laughs> now you might just get her another. <laughs> That's more room. Room. <laughs> you sound like me. He's got two. Look at him. He got enough work. You know, and I, and I think I, I, I need to. I need to. Um, uh, you want to get a picture of that camera? While, while you're doing that, is the camera still rolling? All right. So. One thing we, I want to make sure I recognize everyone here to kind of tell you what tractors are here. The one on the far end is, is Scott Browns right here. Uh, Scott's from Fenwick Mountain and he has a 1948 U Moline. Uh, so that's the yellow one on the end. Check that out. That's Scott's. Um, and then, um, well, I'll just, we've already picked those. Um, John Groves. John has the uh, the loud John Deere that you probably heard uh, start up there, and that's a 1946 A, 1946 John Deere A. Uh, so John, thanks for bringing that, and I think you're going to give some rides in the parade, also. Uh, David Eubank, David has the um, the 51 Farmall Cub, and then David brought these two uh, 1920 Kincaid L. Yep. So thanks for bringing that from Cal. Thanks for coming. Alright, the Johnsons, Aaron, and uh, Wes have the. Uh, Wes, this one here is a 51 Ford 8N. Hey, thanks, Queen. Thanks for helping me out today. You got another obligation. You got another She's obligation. Thank you. <laughs>